Hey, what's up YouTube? You go God1000 here bringing you my Gear Gear Kaokuri deck profile for the uh, January 2014 format. Uh, this deck uh, is really consistent, um, OTKs really easily and um, just requires a couple turns set up to do so. Um, without further ado, let's get into the deck profile. So as you can see, we've got three Gear Gear armor, uh, main Gear Gear monster in the deck, and it's the main engine in the deck. Being able to set this first turn uh, is really crucial to winning the game uh, with its 1900 defense uh, it's hard to get over and if someone attacks into it um, it flips you get one search then on your turn you can flip it face down with its effect flip summon it for a second search um, so you can search two accelerators off this um, or any of the other gear gear monsters that you need for that situation um, and as I said it's pretty hard to get over and basically getting this set first turn um, is how you win games next to get out the uh, armor quicker, we run triple Gigia Arsenal. Uh, again, this goes up. This is a 20, uh, 1700 beta because it gains 200 for each face-up Gigia, so it can quickly become um, quite a large um, body on the board. Uh, but mainly, we use this effect to tribute it off to the graveyard to special summon one Gigia monster in defense from our deck which will choose the armor, activate armor's effect to flip armor face down and that's how we get the set up first turn. So basically it's like running six armors in the deck and it just makes it really consistent. Next we run the triple gear gear accelerator. Uh, I've seen people running two gear gear, gear accelerator but the way that I see it is what harm is there in having a third gear gear accelerator in your hand? It just adds the OTK potential, the speed, um, the power it has at um, pushing your opponent um, over and basically drawing into another one of these is going to be good for you so that's why I always run three and obviously it's other effect being able to recycle cards back into your hand um, but that effect is rarely used because we always XYZ or synchro with this card next for the level three we run triple mark two the uh, Gigiano mark two version um, with this card when it's normal summon, you can special summon a Gigi monster from your hand or graveyard. So it's basically a tool guide for um, Gigi uh, Gigi's. And you can bring up an armor and set an armor depending on your situation. Or you can basically go into another one of the level 3's and go into a mech equip engineer um, from there. So it's really handy. And obviously the fourth Gigiano being just the normal one. Which this guy can tribute himself to special summon a machine from the grave in defense. It's effects negated. So mainly used to bring back the Karakuri Watchdog and Synchro with that. So obviously we use this because of the trap card, run the level 3s because uh, Gear 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 is so broken uh, and we just want to have as many targets as we can in the deck. Next for the Karakuris we just run in the main deck double Watchdog and a Nishipachi. Um, basically the level 4 tuners and level 3 tuner of the deck. Uh, the Karakuri uh, Nishipachi is really good because when it's summoned, normal summoned or special summoned, change the battle position of a face up monster on the field, including himself, so he can change himself to defense or attack and you get a draw off the uh, the uh, Karakuri Burrito, the level 8 one. And also for the Watchdog's effect, it can't be destroyed by battle uh, if it's in attack position, so what you can do is you can crash, take a little bit of damage, and then all face up Karakuri monsters gain 800 to the end phase. So basically it adds 1600 to 2400 of damage on the board for the OTK and it's really handy. Next to other tuner we just run the Birdman which is absolutely broken with the Gear Gear Accelerator being able to bring out a free special summon basically and it just starts off the Synchro OTK from there. And of course the one Redox because we, it's a deck full of Earths and we run level 7s so it just helps with the level 7 XYZing. Uh, I think that's 18 monsters off the top of my head uh, don't quote me on that but, though, uh, but that's it not a high monster count um, but that's all you need basically, it's the skeleton of the deck. Next onto the spells, triple Patrick Hoban, so upstart goblin. Uh, always a really good card in any deck, especially this one because it basically brings it to 37 card deck and the extra 3000 life points will easily be taken away if we get our, our OTK right and can even basically bring that down to zero. Plus, yeah, as I said, speeding through the deck, drawing to your cards quicker, it's just all around a really good card. Next round, triple MST, self-explanatory, um, we don't want them to stop our OTKs, so basically all we do is try and uh, get rid of their back row before they can use it. The one Book of Moon, protection, and also for using on my own Gear Gear armor, 
just uh, if someone attacks, I can flip it to defense and then it flips up, damage calculation, and I can basically get a free search of it, so it's really awesome in this deck. Onto the traps, the one off traps, and also run that, uh, it's only seven spells in the deck, so pretty trap heavy. R run the one off traps, the uh, really good Solemn Warning, Bottomless, and Compulse. Self explanatory, they're the three best traps uh, in the format. And that's why they're at one. I don't run a Torrential Tribute because I have too much field presence and Torrentialing would minus myself more than my opponent and it would just be a bad idea. Plus, I always set gear, gear armor, so it would be stupid to be activating Torrential on that. Double Mirror Force because I have lots of field presence, as I said, and I want mass removal of my opponent and this is the easiest way to do that. Tacking into a Giga Armor set, if I don't need the search that turn, blow up their whole field. Especially if they're summoning a Thunder King, and Mirror Force can just stop that. Uh, again, for effect negation in the trap, so we've got Triple Fiendish, which is absolutely amazing, uh, this format. Being able to basically slow down an op opponent to a stop because they can't attack and their effects are negated. Uh, also, it draws MSTs, uh, which can be a good thing. And also, it's fodder for Scrap Dragon to pop because it is a continuous trap if it stays there. Next we run Double Coal, basically to help with the OTK, bring up back an extra monster to Synchro XYZ with. Again, late game, bringing back um, level, uh, high level Synchros is really handy, so you can bring back a Stardust or a Scrap late game. Um, just all around a really good card. Now for the most broken and best card in the whole deck, um, you guessed it, Gear Gear Gear, which we run obviously triple off, so we can draw into it, especially easy with the upstarts, basically getting one of these in our hand is really easy. And it's basically a Gear Giant X in a trap card. Uh, and it's special summons from the deck, so it's a really good deck thinning card. Um, and basically, if we go into this and we get some searches off with an armor set and we can combo it, um, we can basically win from there if we have the trap stone, which I run two of. Because basically, stop your opponent completely uh, from using all their traps unless they change something, but if they can't, you can basically go off and deal. Um, Eight to nine thousand damage for game, almost every time. See for the main deck, forty card main deck. Really, really happy with it. I don't think I'll ever change it unless uh, something changes in the format. But at the moment, I'm extremely happy with it. Onto the extra deck, we run uh, a mech equip engineer just for the one rank three. Uh, it's player preference really on what rank three you want to run. But I think this one is really good because it can protect my cards. Like um, if I have a, a gear drawn X that I want to protect, so I can get a search off next turn. I uh, have a Mega Quit Engineer out, I can basically uh, stop it from being destroyed. And as I said, we run Gear Giant X, but only two. It would be um, crazy to run three because you never use three. Plus, extra deck space is really tight in this deck. Um, so I've had to cut back um, on one of the Buries. Uh, so that's why I'm running two Gear Giant X because no one will ever run three in a Giga Kerakuri deck. Next, we run a one Gaga Cowboy for the uh, OTK, an extra uh, 800 damage, plus getting over big beaters. And Dagasa Emerald is amazing in this deck. Shuffling back the uh, Gigianos, level 3 guys, if you draw too many of them, so that your Giga gear traps are still alive, um, meaning you can get off multiple of them. So it's really, really handy. Plus, plusing off uh, Dagasa Emerald is never a bad thing. It's an amazing card. Uh, run Diamond Die Wolf. Now, this card could be a diamond die or it could be a big eye but at the moment I don't have a big eye so that's the replacement for it and if any of you have um, like Exeter Knight, Arc, Arc on a Shark, any of those new rank 4s um, that, are pro that might be better depending on what situation it's basically player preference on what you want to run and for the rank 8, uh, sorry rank 7 we've got Mecha Phantom Beast Drake Sack again there could be a big eye in there but it's, uh, I don't have one at the moment and it's player preference onto the synchros one Black Rose Dragon, Selby Sanitary, Nuke the Field, and it's a level 7 which you can get out easily. And then just the two Boris, level 7 guy. Uh, I was running 3, but I never used 3 um, unless it was a really big grind game, which it hardly ever is. So I'm always going into 2, and I have the third one sitting there in the extra deck that I've never used. So I thought I may as well swap it out for something, and so far it's been working out. Um, but again, it can always, it's player preference. One Beredo, you only need one, you never go into two. It's just this help one this one helps with the OTK clearly. Uh, and its effect to plus off um, drawing cards from battle position changing is amazing. So as, as I said, it's uh, the extra deck space is pretty tight, so that's also another reason why I uh, took out one Bori. Um, 
but as you can see we've got the three level 8 synchros basically this, the three amigos, the standard three, Scrap, Stardust, Crimson Blader Crimson wrecks any deck that normal special summons five or higher so like Chaos Agents, Chaos Dragons that type of thing. Stardust, self Sanctuary, Protection and Scrap Dragon having all the continuous traps in my deck being able to um, blow up one card on my opponent's field basically for free and it's 2800 attack is nothing to sneeze at. And for the last one the level 10 synchro Leo. Uh, this card is absolutely amazing. I was trying Star Reader for a while there because I can get out Star Reader and Leo basically as easy as each other but um, unless I was going for game, if I Star Reader out, I, it was, people got around it, my opponents got around it too easily, like Big Eye, um, Dragasack, uh, that sort of thing, um, Evil Storm Bahamut, again, stealing Star Reader, plus not to mention that Compulse after it's summoned works, and I just think that um, Leo is a much better, like, um, to have on the field, for protection and also for your opponent to get over because if I have a Leo on the field and I combo it with a Draco Sack or a Karakurish Burrito getting draws off at each turn um, it's really hard for my opponent to deal with. I can just gradually beat them down um, until they run out of resources and I've still got my 3100 attack um, beater. So that's why I run Leo and I recommend you running it too because it's absolutely amazing. Um, that's it for this deck profile guys, I hope you liked it, uh, I'm really happy with this deck actually, um, I'm extremely happy, with it. probably one of my favourite decks I've ran so far, um, like to change it up from Chaos Dragons a bit um, and try this out, but please comment, rate and subscribe, like always, ask me any questions about the deck or any of your thoughts and whether or not you'd run certain cards, but thank you for watching, please subscribe to my channel, I appreciate it, but apart from that, you go God 1000 signing off.